Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frank. What's going on, bud? Nope. I was chewing on like a chewy mint before, so I wanted to. I thought it'd be a fun way to open the show. Really mint, fun. Mint. <laughs> you having fun? Really fun. Hey, we're all off to a hot, fun start. Yeah, yeah. So thanks for bringing the mints. Yeah. So I, I thought it'd be a fun, cute, cuddly, cozy way to open up the show with people, you know, just reacting to the sound of my mouth clapping back and forth. I didn't think. <laughs> <laughs> What's, What's wrong mouth? with you? You're all over the place. What's wrong with me? Yeah. My mouth clapping back and forth. <laughs> what does that even mean? You know. What would you call that? What would you eating? I don't know. Disgusting. What do, what do cows chew on? Like they have like permanent grass, gum in their grass. mouth. No, but they have like permanent gum in their hey, mouth. Hey, hey, Joey. They, I'm not asking what they eat. What are they rule? That's just sloppy food in like an Oliver Twist movie. Yeah. I'm talking like that's just poor people's soup, isn't it? Yeah, a hundred percent. Gruel dude. is just poor people's soup. That's the that's yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's it, the poor's get gruel. Yeah, the regulars get soup. Right, and the rich get risotto. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I love a fucking risotto. I've had dude. Becca once made a pumpkin risotto, and I almost fucking came. Damn, Jesus, dude. dude. God damn. <laughs> Fuck, that's a good risotto. Yeah, it was really good, but I like any risotto. Stop That's, doing that. People the, don't like that. Risotto makes you do that if it's a little mush. Like, I like it because it's rich. I had a truffle risotto recently. Ooh, like Ooh. with like fresh shaved truffle on top. Yeah. Ask me how much it was. Too much. Guess how much it was. Eighty bucks. Seventy bucks. Yeah. So too so much with tax. Too much with like fresh shaved black truffle on top. It was on it. It was shaved. I've never had real black truffle or white truffle for that matter. Mm. I hear once you have black, you don't go back. I heard that as well. But, you know, only about truffles. Once you go black, you break your mother's back. Yeah, that's if you step on a crack, Joey. That's true. If you Now, if you step on a crack while eating black truffle, you won't go back to your mother who's now got her back broken. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and if yeah, you yeah. step on a black crack, forget your mother's back. You got. <laughs> She's going to well, have no hole. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think that's about it. How you doing? You know, I believed that so much when I was younger, too. Like, don't step on the crack. You break your mother's back. I know my mom's back wasn't going to break, but I was like, I'm not going to step on this thing on the off chance that maybe her shit breaks. Damn. And then that... I broke her rib because I hugged her too hard. Yes, because Joey's strong Joey. Strong Joey boy. No, it's because I had a couple couple hundred Bud Lights. Yeah. And well, I was that's... like, oh, Ma, give me a hug. And I broke her rib. That's funny because a lot of people after, like, what happened this year with Bud Light would say that it does the opposite to you because they supported, a, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, uh, trans. drinking Bud Light it makes you super gay. Yeah, apparently. back in the day, it made you hug your mom and break her rib, but apparently right. now, now you know, it just makes you grab hold of a cock or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do? I don't mind a Bud Light, by the way. Dude, I love a Bud Light. In a glass bottle, though. It needs to be in glass. I, I gotta be honest with you. I went through a phase of being like, oh you my god, IPAs. Oh my god, this fucking sour. Oh, I can't wait to have a triple. Like I'm, I've realized about myself. Like, yes, I like, I, I will indulge in like a craft beer, but like, you're I'm a white so trash drinker. Fuck you. You are. Fuck though. you. Don't, I'm, don't say white trash drinker. I'm saying it as a compliment. Oh, thanks. I'm saying like you're, you drink like a, like a white trash step. Alcohol. But that's not a compliment. I hear what you're, what you're. That's like saying like you're, you're. It's a compliment. You're a fucking fat idiot. <laughs> it's a compliment. No, no, no. You're as down to earth as just, just a fucking real dumbass. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, you like a Miller Light, you like a. I do like a Miller Light, yeah. a Coors Light, Bud Light. I'm fine with them. A Bud Give me a heavy, natty, a Bud Heavy, a Natty, a natty light. light, Natty Light. I'll, it brings me right back to my college days. Exactly. And who, bro? Bring a pack of Natty Lights in you here. You can't drink Natty Light in the house you own. Like that's crazy. Yeah, no. It, when you have a mortgage, come on. There are certain beers you can't drink anymore. That's one of them. You got to give it up. You it's, can't have everything. It, it, Bush Light, <laughs> dude. You know what I'd do for a Bush Latte right now? <sighs> Bush, man. I'm telling you. That's gross. Fuck you. Okay. They, I remember What's they the other one? Keystone. Keystone, yeah. The, the college beers. There's not beer in Natty, Keystone. Natty, Bush, like. Keystone were like the college beers. And there's like Milwaukee's Best and like Bud Ice. Oh, Milwaukee. Yeah, just like shit that like you will never drink in the real world. But like when you're at a college and you have $10 to your name and you can get 30 beers, you get one of those, you put them in a backpack where they stay warm, and you drink warm beer and yeah. have the time of your life. Let me ask you a question. No. Actually, it's not really a question. 
Is it a question? I don't know. Do you know? Do you understand grammar? And- say, hold on. If I say a statement at you, mm-hmm. but it requires an answer, what is that? Is it a question? You're, uh, it's an attack. That's what it sounds like. No, no, no. I'm not attacking you. I, I want to say a statement. Say Well, you're pointing with all four fingers, and I don't quite understand it. He's in a pointy mood today. I'll I say am. that. He came in here <laughs> talking with Greg and I, and he was just like, yo, 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 yo. And Greg goes, he's in a pointy mood. Because I, I, I've, I've had a long fucking day. He has. It's only one o'clock, but I've had a long day already. Okay. It's 2.47, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just check. I was like, holy shit, 2.47. My, I woke up, my garage guy texts me, he goes, your car is a flat. I'm like, hmm? So I go, it's definitely a flat. And then I'm like, great. But you were going to you were gonna ask me a question. We'll get to the question. Okay. But anyway, so I find out that I have a flat tire. Then I call uh, to have a guy come fucking do whatever. Yeah, yeah, I was not going to change it. Listen, tire. guys, <laughs> listen. If, if there are people out there that were, like, swooning over Joey, and they're like, oh, yeah. my God, his fucking super, like, ironic interest in sports is so cool and turns me on, I – it's all out the window now because you've just yeah. proved that you are beta cuck soy boy loser. Yeah. Like, that, I can't that, change the tire. Can't yeah. change the tire. Well, it's not that you I You failed – dude, don't let your dad find out. Don't don't. Yeah, let your yeah. Dad. He's gonna call me up, call me gay. Or your something. dad's gonna call you. <laughs> He's probably gonna do your dad's that. gonna call you with like, I changed four this morning. Yeah, you so know what, what is wrong with you? Yeah. No, I failed as a parent. That's what he would that's say. What he, <laughs> that's what yeah, he would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's the, that's the like litmus test for what our parents' generation does to like see if they like. The tire. Yeah, if they've succeeded, can we change a tire? Can we balance a checkbook? Which, huh? Don't need to do that anymore. It's twenty twenty three. Balance, the fuck, uh, Frank. I know what you meant by balance. Relax. Um, but I wasn't gonna change it. I think that if I was just stuck in the wilderness, I could change it. Why would you have a flat tire? Why would you be driving in the wilderness, Joey? I'm just saying, in the off chance that I was like, oh, I have no cell service, I have to fix this, or I'm gonna die. Like I'll fix it. Like I know how to fix it. But so anyway, I you, called did, the guy. you just got your manicure. You didn't want to get it dirty. I've I get never it. got a manicure, but I would love to get one. Actually, I would love to get a pedicure even more than that. But I got I got ticklish toes, so I don't want to kick a, a woman in the face. You know what I mean, bro? I would pay forty bucks for you to kick a woman, and like when you're getting a pedicure, <laughs> fanning out, dude. Pick the woman. I'll let you pick the woman. Let me kick a head off. I tell you who I was gonna kick the fucking head off a woman today. Yeah. So anyway, I'll get to the woman who's yeah. Gonna so get Joey, kicked. back to you being physically unable to change your tire. Go right. Ahead. <laughs> so I call the guy to come fix the tire. He shows up. And he's like, you got the wheel lock? And I was like, what is that? And he's like, it's a thing that they give you. And uh, it's so I can take off one of the like lug nuts or whatever the fuck. Because the rest of them you can take off, but one of them has a specific pattern. So like, then they could take it off. I was like, I've never even heard of this or seen it before. Um, so we looked through my entire car, can't find it. He's like, I can't help you. So he leaves. So now I'm like, the fuck? So then I call a tow truck. But I have to come here to record. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to call it because they're like, we can pick it up like unattended, just like whatever. So I go back downstairs and I talk to the garage guy and I go, they're going to show up and then, uh, you know, can you just give them my keys and then they're going to take the car. And he's like, yeah, he's like, dude, call me on this phone. He's like, here's the number. Call me on this phone. I, have, I always have it on me. I was like, all right, they should be here in like an hour. I get in the Uber on the way here. It's 15 minutes to get here. And it's all in Brooklyn, by the way. I live in Brooklyn. This is in Brooklyn. And it's like a straight shot. It's, it's, a, it's, it's not like it's one like... road. It's one road. And uh, uh, they call me immediately. So I'm like four blocks from my apartment. And they're like, yeah, I'm outside. They said they were coming in an hour. Yeah, what the hell? So I was like, all right. So I start calling the number of the garage guy. Now I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. Attached to my hip. I always have it. Don't pick up. I'm like, great. But then eventually uh, the, the tow guy called me. And he's like, hey, like, cause the company called me. I was like, your guy's gonna be there. Like, he's like right outside. I was like, all right. I was like, but I was calling this guy. I wasn't answering. So then, the guy who's in the truck calls me, and he's like, hey, I'm here. I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get in touch with the, the garage guy. It's like right next to the building. Like, just go in and talk to the guy, and he'll give you my keys. That ends up happening. As soon as I figure that out, I look up. I'm on a bridge going to Manhattan. <laughs> And like, there's no reason to go to Manhattan. Oh, like, God. this is in Brooklyn. My apartment's in Brooklyn. It's Ma- Manhattan is the op- opposite way. It's literally, there's no reason to do that. And <laughs> the woman didn't really speak a lot of English. Which made you hate her more. I get it. Go ahead. Shut up. 
but I, but I lift my head up and I'm like, we're going, to, we're on a bridge. I'm over, I'm suspended in the air above water on a bridge <laughs> on a structure. What am I doing? So I go, are we going to Manhattan? And she just goes, yep. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like the most confidence, like, yes, sir, Bob, right to Manhattan. <laughs> she didn't know how to say anything in English except for yes, absolutely. And I, I, I wanted to be like, why? And she just kept pointing to the map and like she's following the thing. And oh, like, so it was there was probably congestion in the way that you normally get here. So she took what she thought was a little loop-de-loop, a little a little trickly, a little trickly trick, you know, like a little slippery. Yeah. You know. So go go into Manhattan, which there is traffic, and take two bridges. Both have traffic. Yeah. yeah. Instead of just going on one road. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, hey, but so in, where was it? Brooklyn or Manhattan, where you stole that outfit off of the homeless man? This is a nice jacket. This are you, is a are nice you telling jacket. me or trying to convince me? No, this is a great jacket. And you know, you want to know? Wait, something? what the fuck is a jacket? It's a shirt jacket, you dumb bitch. Figure it out. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did I do that? Yeah, I don't know why Figure we're touching tips. <laughs> is that one piece? Yeah. That's all one piece, dude. One piece. Oh, that sucks even more. Oh, you stupid. Have bitch. different articles of clothing, Joey. You're not a child. You could put them on differently. I'm gonna say you this. can function putting different stuff on at different times. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Are, is the sweater? Oh, no, those are separate. Oh, okay, all right, thank God. The I was about to, separate. I was about to keep going off on you, Joey. No, it's not a shirt, hoodie, you, jacket, no, shirt. You said jacket, Joey. Jacket, shirt, jacket. It looks like a shirt, but it's a jacket. It's no, it's, that looks like a jacket. That doesn't look like a shirt. That just looks like a jacket. And you got to be further away. It looks like an over shirt. No. Whatever. No, it's not whatever. So listen. You also, you look like a fruit roll-up. Yeah, but this looks like it tastes really good. It does. And so I wear cool colors sometimes. Not everyone just wears Yankees fucking say it. hoodies say, all the say time. It, say it, Mr. Yankee hat that you're wearing at this very moment in time. <laughs> Is it up there? Yeah. Is this a Yankee? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> you know yeah, how I got this, though? Don't Actually, care. I don't care. But, but, but I, have to I, say I know it. you have to, but I don't care about but it. it. It's a podcast, so I, I got to uh, say it. I don't have to. <laughs> Listen, I got this because... There's a kid out there. His name's Connor Wood. You guys know him. Oh, free plugs. What are we doing? I mentioned Beard Club, and you're like, oh, and you're fucking sitting here, <laughs> Connor fucking Wood. Oh, you just said it again? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. He's a, he's a, social, he's a social media, and uh, he posted a picture, and he was wearing this, and I commented, I'm going to need a link to that jacket, and he never answered me. So first of all, Somebody clipped this, sent it to him. <laughs> Fuck you, Connor! You, you piece of shit. His name is Connor. You automatically sucks. Let me guess, white? Nah, dude. He's uh, he's West African. <laughs> uh, I don't know who you follow, you freak. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a white man, uh, but he uh, but he didn't answer. And then Wrangler hit me up, and they're like, "We saw your comment. We're gonna send you the jacket." I was like. So you're wearing Wrangler? So you're basically just like Yeehaw. a super hardcore Trump lover right now. No, first of all, don't do that. Tell me about, tell me about how many pa- me a shack. Tell me about how many pairs of Brett Favre jeans you have at the moment, Joey. Frank, you look like you live in the Bronx and hate your own kind. So stop. <laughs> you got a bit of a point there. That's what's, that's what's going down. You got a bit of a point, but Joey, you're inside. You're in your own space. Take your fucking jacket and sweatshirt off. Stay a while. I wanted to show off the That's outfit. That's what it is. He wants Wrangler to see, hey, Wrangler, fucking, I love your Jeeps and I love your fucking do 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 do. Wait. Get me, send me some more stuff. Wait. Wait. Wrangler isn't Jeep. Is Jeep Wrangler, dude. Yeah, but that's not this. Is, is it? I don't know. No, I don't know. You can't make cars and jackets. Why not? I don't know. I had, uh, like, they, they make, like, Car branded clothes. I know they make jeans. They make like Ferrari shoes and like who who you've never seen Ferrari shoes, dude. They're like the skinny like fucking shoes that all like the Guidos that went to like oh, teen like nights. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ones that would put the fucking glow stick in between their hands and they fucking <laughs> what do they call that frolicking. You remember oh, that I don't shit? No, dude. Oh my god, you don't remember that? I do remember frolicking, obviously. Oh my god, it was like these two thousand six, seven, eight. Maybe even a little tinge of nine. The Greeks loved it. The Greeks, Italians, Albanians, uh, yep. you know, Montenegrins, just, like just getting in a circle with your boys and like they'd be skipping like, and they'd shit. They'd be like, "Yo, you fucking like we going out and we finding all of the fucking titties, bro." And then they'd get there and they'd put <laughs> fucking glow sticks in their fingers and dance to Cascada, yeah. like 
Which is great. Writing was on the wall, dude. Yeah. You know, Cascada is really great, though. Really good. Really good stuff there. I still hear. We're not going to sing it, though, right? We're not going to sing it, though, right? Oh, 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 man. You're fucking. You just punched your ticket to fucking Shitstown. I'm going to get you, bitch. (laughs) By the way, name a woman. Rebecca? Name a woman. Rebecca. Like a woman's name or. No, I'll name a woman. Name uh, a woman. Name any woman. Okay. Literally any woman. Um, Name a woman. Tanya Harding. <laughs> That's quite a bull. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Why, Tanya Harding? why is Tanya Harding because funny? Because where? You just I haven't didn't... thought about her in 10 years. Like, that's crazy. Ah, uh, Tanya Harding. <laughs> Dude, isn't that question so funny? So like, it started going viral on TikTok, but before that, because it, uh, it was it was, it was Billy Eichner. Yes, and he's like and, name one. He's like, uh, 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 it's uh. so hard. No, it's not. But like, and I've act, I've been asking multiple. Uh, I've been asking multiple people uh, to do that, and they usually freeze up. And uh, but they have questions. They're like, what? In what context? I'm like, in what context? Three fucking words. Name a woman. That's oh, it. They, what, they think you're going to put a gun to their head and fucking A lot of people just go Michelle Obama. Damn, Michelle Obama is a good one. T- Tanya Harding. Yeah. No one has said. <laughs> so, like, that was awesome. I, I guess, I mean, that's the first. Literally, I said Rebecca because I thought you were doing, like, the, like, name. Just say a girl's name. Oh, no. Nah. Um, because I've seen that TikTok trend. Is it? I think. Maybe I'm off. I don't remember. But the name a woman, that's easy. I can give me, I, I can name thousands of women right now. I'm sure. <laughs> Tanya Harding, Alex Borstein. Who the fuck is that? Um, she was on Mad TV. She does Lois Griffin's voice. Oh, you don't know her? How is that number two? <laughs> Who do you think the most famous person ever is? There's an answer. Like Jesus. That's my guy right there. Yeah. That's why. That's why this show. You think we're dumb and you think we're not educational, but the most famous person is Jesus Christ. I would say like, but are we talking like Hollywood famous or just like everyone knows who they are? Jesus uh, is up there. Game's over. By Mickey the way. Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Super Mario. You think Mickey Mouse is more famous than Walt Disney? Yes. Yes. Do you think a child right now knows who Disney? Who- no, that's that's the oh, point. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, point. Yeah, like yeah. if you ask a kid who's this, they'll say but Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is kind of on the outs, dude. No, nah, he's still he's still kicking. He's living it up. No they're really they're releasing cares. like cute little specials and stuff. You're like, why are they still pushing him? Probably not pushing him at all. I mean, he's not really in like movies anymore. They kind he's of he's like just... the face of like everything. Like, oh, we oh, got oh, yeah. He can do impressions, guys. <laughs> Everyone clap. <laughs> I'm in such a bad mood. You really are. You're oh, a no. pointy bitchy mood. I am a. You pointy came in fuck. here just like serving cunt. Frankie, please. Now say. I have to say something. <laughs> you came in here serving cunt. Also, do you know what that even means, Frank? <laughs> you it. came in here serving I cunt. I heard it. Do you think serving cunt is a bad thing? I think it's just like you just got like an attitude. Like, a, I'm fucking here, bitch. Like, don't fucking double cross me because I'll fucking... Double cross? <laughs> what is this in Survivor? What's going on? Don't double cross me. Damn, this kid's giving a speech at a tribal council. I was double cross. <laughs> Tanya Harding, double <laughs> cross. Double, don't double cross me, bitch. Oh my god. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess that's kind of right. But it's supposed to be a positive thing, I think. I would say. I think it's just like a like when people like serve. You know, like when they say like yes, slay. Yeah. Serve and slay. Serve it and slay. Slay it then serve it. Because you gotta kill it in order to put it on a plate and give it to someone. What rhymes with C and X Tuesday? Can we say that on YouTube? Or are they gonna like is cunt? That like, Dude, yeah. you said it. Oh, okay. <laughs> what um, rhymes bunt. with that? Bunt, runt, front. Yeah. Blunt. Blunt, dude. A gay marijuana shop called Serving Blunt. Oh, dude. I'm serving blunt. Serving blunt. And people walk in and it's like, what is this? And it's like, blunts. Here, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's blunts. It's just blunts. Just blunts and weeds. It's just blunts. You're in your weed era right now. No, I haven't smoked in a long time. Well, you have. And I'll never forgive you for it. In my, what, I Bro, have I'm going to tell, if we ever come up with time machines, I'm going to tell sixth grade you that you smoked weed. Do you know what I would do? What? I'd probably put a pencil through my own neck and stop it from ever happening in the future. What? 
<laughs> what? I'm saying if you told younger me like that you oh. smoked weed, yeah, oh. I'd be like, oh, no, I won't. <laughs> you fucking did. <laughs> you fucking a pencil also. What? Yeah, I don't know where you, you could were kill going. someone with a pencil. Of course you can. I don't know about of course. I mean, I think you can, but not of course. You sharpen a pencil, Joey. I can kill you. It'll break. I mean, no. I shove it in your eye socket repeatedly. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Up your nose, you're dead, dude. Are eyes hard? It's just it's just a socket, dude. No, I mean like my actual eyeball. Like, can you? Would you be able to just go like that? No, apparently. So I, I uh, apparently squeezing an eyeball is like squeezing a frozen grape. It's pretty hard. Really? Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to like stab the shit out of it. I mean, you can. Oh yeah. You can, but like you won't be able to hold it in your finger and squish it. It'll probably be very difficult. I imagine it's like a like a fried egg. Not a fried egg. Yeah, like a fried egg kind of. Like a hard boiled egg? No. I guess, yeah. Kind of like that too. Because a fried egg is cracked and put in a pan and fried. I don't really know eggs. You don't <laughs> to be honest. I don't know. I don't What's over know. easy? <laughs> over easy is you cook it and you turn it over and for like... 10, 15 seconds And then you're done Yeah You turn it over And you leave it runny over I don't know easy. eggs I don't know eggs That's a confession What? That is one of my favorite quotes You've ever had from this show <laughs> true, I don't though. know eggs I really don't I don't know eggs I don't know over easy Over What's medium? the difference between Over easy and sunny side up? I have no idea Well one is facing up The, the oak is facing upwards Yeah So you don't flip a, a sunny side up yeah. Oh see I wouldn't have said that Like wow. I have no idea you, you don't know anything A fried egg Is it deep fried? I don't know It could be I mean Yeah see I don't know you're you're dumb. That's what we're finding out I just, here. I just always scrambled my shit. That's it. Yeah. Oh, let me guess. Your egg whites. You fucking hardo. Fucking. I like you. No. <laughs> no. I don't like to fuck with me. Fuck with me, me, me. No. I. I just. We're gonna end up by the end of this episode killing each other. Probably. Fist yeah. fighting. If we both have pencils, it could get real dangerous in here. <laughs> Do you think seriously in a fist fight you could, you could beat me up? I don't think that would ever happen. I, w I know it won't ever happen. Um. I think so. Wow. I think that we. I think that we're pretty evenly matched. No, I got height, weight, and arm reach on you. <laughs> I'm six feet. You're yeah, fucking if you go five, by the book, five. Like I, I've five, got five. I've got seven inches of arm, like, you know, wingspan on you. Se no. Gotta get inside. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Hit me in my fucking gut? I'm good. I don't know about that, dude. I could hit a fucking. You're a little liver shot. Liver, dude. Your liver shot would be bad. You're fucking drinking all the time, you wino. You're drunk. That's Who the ads? Who the ads? Who the ads? <laughs> you wino. You drunk. We do have some ads, though. We do have some ads. The first one being Squarespace. Squarespace, that's where you're going to go if you're going to set... <coughs> Sorry. Oh. That's where you're going to go to <laughs> set up your... Uh, new website uh, if you have an e-commerce business or you have or if you create content or something you're gonna need a website a nice little home base uh for your stuff and you're gonna want it to look good you can't have a you know whack website you need a nice professional looking website and you don't have to go crazy with the spending to get it either you can do it with squarespace uh, they have a bunch of templates that make it very easy to make your site look amazing uh, all you have to do is kind of switch out some texts and pictures and there you go um, and it's a lot of fun uh, i just recently used squarespace to build a website uh, for the live shows, actually. Uh, so I built the website. Uh, built sounds a little crazy. I mean, I used a template and I swapped out a couple photos. But if you go to thebasementyard.com, you can go get the tickets to the tour uh, with Squarespace is what we power that with. Um, so yeah, if you have anything like that or you you know, you know have your own business or whatever, you should definitely use Squarespace. Uh, like I said, I've been saying it for, for weeks when we do Squarespace that I use Squarespace for all my stuff. Proof is in the pudding right there. Uh, but you can go to squarespace.com, uh, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BASEMENT to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Uh, that is squarespace.com uh, for a free trial, okay? And uh, when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BASEMENT to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Do not use anybody else. Use Squarespace, trust me. Uh, and we also have... Adam and Eve, okay? You want to spice up your sex life? You want to make your wife, your husband scream just a little bit louder? Go on Adam and Eve and get him a nice little sex toy or like a cream. That'll make him a little more sensitive or something. There's a bunch of stuff on there that I guarantee you guys don't even know exists. But they also have your classic dildos, vibrators. There's some swings, some restraints, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, but they got it all. And you can get 50% off of one item. Free shipping with fresh with free rush processing. 
that was a mouthful. Uh, and some exclusions do apply to that, though. Um, but you can go to uh, adamandeve.com, use the offer code BASEMENT at checkout, spelled B-A-S-E-M-E-N-T, at adamandeve.com. Like I said, 50% off of one item uh, with free shipping and free rush processing. So go out there, you know, buy some stuff. The holidays are coming up. Maybe you get a little crazy on Christmas Eve while Santa's not there. You know what I mean? Go nuts on each other. It's Adam and Eve, baby. AdamandEve.com. Use the code BASEMENT uh, for 50% off. Enjoy. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm doing. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Folks, every week you see me, my beautiful face, my incredibly supple, soft mouth, talking to you <laughs> about Patreon. And listen, Patreon is the best, most direct way that you can continue to support us. In addition to telling your friends and family about us, we love it that you can go over to patreon.com and just get more of us. That's right, more of Joey loads. Loads and loads and loads of Joey. So go to patreon.com slash the <laughs> Jesus. And you sign up for that first tier, you get these weekly episodes one week in advance. And then that second tier, you get additional additional perks where you get weekly episodes every single Friday morning. You could start and end your week with a basement yard. And listen, there's more tiers on there. I don't want to tell you about it. I want to be a little surprised, a little go in there and, you know, just fucking open up the pinata of Patreon and find out what you're going to get. So patreon.com slash the basement yard. Thank you to getting us over 27,000. Let's keep on climbing, bopping to the top, reaching for that brass ring. All right, go check it out. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. And folks, while we're here, we might as well tell you, if you didn't hear the news, um, do me a favor. Let me know what the weather's like under that rock you've been living under. Um, we're doing live shows. <laughs> I, I despise you, I think. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> we're doing live shows. That's right. You guys asked for it. I didn't listen. Joey barely listened. And we're doing live shows. So we have three live shows at the moment that tickets are on sale for now. I don't know if they're sold out. I really don't. We have no idea what's going on. We record in advance. We haven't, as of today, we haven't even announced that. Yeah, so you guys technically, technically are the first person to hear about it. That's not true. This will be going on Patreon on Monday at the exact same time that the announcement goes. So if you watch this one for, whatever. Listen, whatever. But Montclair, New Jersey at the Wellmont Theater. January 19th. January 19th. uh, New Haven, Connecticut. Daddy's coming home. At uh, uh, College Street Music and Bar. What is it? College Street Music something. I okay. And then uh, uh, Medford, Massachusetts, right outside of Boston. I love yeah. this kid. No dates. January 26th in New Haven. And uh, right you outside. Fucking of- do it, you fucking doing it. You yelling at me for no dates. Do your job. February 1st at <laughs> in Boston or Medford, Massachusetts at uh, – the Chevalier. So we Dude, are so fucking. Chevalier. Uh, Cheval- he's, and Greg is just like, yeah. these fucking kids don't know that. Like, these kids just don't. They, they don't. I also, by the way, I don't need cheese. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't need cheese. I don't need cheese. What did he say to you before? <laughs> I go, yo, I'm getting food downstairs. You want anything? And he's like, uh, uh, yeah. I was like, do you know? Like, wh- what do you want? He's like, oh, anything, anything. I was like, do you not eat anything? I don't really eat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, Greg. <laughs> well, we're so fucking excited to bring you guys out for these shows and to show you what it's gonna it's gonna be insane. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Try it's gonna be that. nuts. No, we're really excited. We bought t-shirt guns. Do <laughs> We, we guns. did. We don't know if we can use them. And Joey bet me that I can't throw it further than the t-shirt gun, but I guarantee you I can. No. But here's the thing. Uh, we don't know if we can use the guns, but we're going to bring them anyway. Just in case <laughs> we can. Maybe there's a fine, but that's all right. Yeah. That's why you get a show check, and then it pays for it. That's <laughs> right. Go. That's right. What if the fine is the exact amount of what we make? Had fun. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> had all right. Fun. So thank you, guys. We wouldn't have been able to do this without everyone, realistically. Yeah. So we're really excited. And, and if these three shows do well... Maybe we'll add some additional... I mean, we're definitely adding more shows. Okay, there you go. All right, so then, yeah. Yeah, but uh, go to thebasementyard.com, and you'll see. uh, You can get tickets to those shows. Um, Also, we want you guys to be involved in the shows. Uh, You know, we're setting out this thing. We're setting it up right now. Like I said, we haven't even announced technically. But we're going to be sending out this thing, and uh, it's basically we want there to be a lot of crowd work within the shows. So um, there's going to be, like, a form. Tell us which show you're going to be at. And then if you want to, uh, you know, kind of fill out this form so you can kind of be a part of the show, maybe we'll pull you on stage. Maybe we'll hand you a microphone and we can talk to you. I don't know. We're going to have like a whole thing going. 
uh, at these shows. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have no idea how it's going to be. Uh, I'm just going to have, you know, maybe a espresso martini and a couple beers beforehand, and we're going to go crazy on stage. That's it. And if he wears that jacket, maybe he'll even, you know, jerk off another homeless man. You never know with Joey. It yeah. really can. Anything I, could happen. We really hope that you got, are uh, you wearing a well, scarf, Are you buddy? fucking, what do you want, babushka? <laughs> If you're watching this, <laughs> great. Dad's here. If you're watching this on Patreon on December 11th, use the presale code BASEMENT, okay? Otherwise, you're not going to be able to buy tickets? Yeah, you'll need the code tonight. Code is BASEMENT. Code's always BASEMENT, guys. Uh, yeah, if you're watching this and any day on, on a past the 12th, you're fine. But if you're watching this on December 11th, use the code BASEMENT. Um, but yeah. We got yelled at. He was not. I think he heard you talking you heard, about his cheese thing. Cheese. And, he got oh, and, then mad. He brought, and then he brought out his Ziploc bag of lunch. You saw that? <laughs> I opened the fridge, and there's just a, just a sloppy, wet <laughs> Ziploc bag with just food in it. And I'm like, dude, is this how you bring your lunch? And he was like, yeah, by the way, I don't eat cheese. <laughs> it's so funny because Greg doesn't sound like that at all. I know, but it's all right. I don't hate you. Uh, so, yeah, we're really, really excited. Go, Like we said, Montclair, New Jersey, New Haven, Connecticut, Boston, Medford, Massachusetts. You got to stop by Trillium on the way up and get a lot of beers. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's that on that. Um, anyway, can we talk about um, the, the guy who was naked at Disney? Speaking of Disney, you spoke about Disney it's back Disney there. Day. It's a Disney day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was that <laughs> yes we can so uh, a couple of weeks ago there was a gentleman who got arrested uh, at uh, Walt Disney why are you saying Walt Disney uh, uh, Disney well, it's not world what's the other one land, land. Disneyland in California um, for uh, going streaking naked. and going swimming basically through the it's a small world ride yeah um also, by the way, guy ripped to fucking shreds. Oh, so a ripped dude got naked and ran through the It's a Small World ride. It was like, arrested? yeah, it was like like sitting with like the animatronics and shit like that. Yeah. Obviously, you got to get arrested. I mean, you're naked in a child's theme park. Yeah, that. You're a psychopath. Yeah. But I will say this. That ride sucks. Really? I haven't been it's on that ride in 20 years. It's a small world? 20 years? Trash bags. Really? You're in a little boat. But okay. it's a fake boat. It goes on its own. You don't even get to row it. That sucks. Or oh, is that that's what's <laughs> that's that what makes it no, bad? No, it's all just like a bunch of puppets like singing in unison. It's kind of my hell, to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's why is that your hell? Are you like afraid? Are you like one of those freaks that are just like oh like uh, like kids are like? Uh. You know this, bro. I don't like little children and like they freak you out. That's right. Well, no, I, children don't freak me out. Children that are like. At the end of hallways of places they're not supposed to be, scare yeah. me. Let me ask you a serious question. Yes. You ready? Yes. How many times has that happened in your life? None, but in my head it's happened. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so in your head you've looked no, down the hall. No, actually one time I was driving around. No, I'm serious. I was with the Petropolises. And we were driving around I think if there's, there's two of them, it's Petropoli. Petropoli, probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like octopus. <laughs> but we were driving around and it was super foggy. And then there was this little girl in like a white dress, like just by herself. And I was like, hit her. Cause like, <laughs> I don't like that. So like, instead of just of driving away, you decided you would rather. Oh, we drove right past her. Vehicular she could have been, she manslaughter. Been, you know, yeah, we could, she could have been, you know, lost, but we were like, fuck that. Scary. Gotcha. So yeah. Hey, kids out there. No kids in the fog. If you happen to get lost in the fog, Joey ain't going to help you. I'll do one better. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> Because I get scared. He does get scared. He's a little jumpy. I don't bitch. like that. But also like dolls too. I I gotta say, if I'm gonna go streaking through anywhere, the last place it's gonna be is the place that just keeps repeating "It's a small world" at me while my dick is hanging out. That's true too. I don't. That's not like I don't want that. It's a big world, or it's like it's like a good. It's like world. An, honestly, I would go to the ride that's just like it's like a like honestly average world where like. It's, it's a, a world very, that fits. It's a sensible world that is like perfectly fine. It's not a crazy world. Yeah. It's like, it's actually, if anything, I would rather it not be a big world. Exactly. Because, you know, this is something I could use world, you know. It's a world that doesn't hurt. This is a world that I could work with. Exactly. <laughs> That's, exactly. That's a good ride that I would run through too. You know. Um, but, and then have you ever seen the thing that like people like drink the water in these like Disney parks? 
Yeah. Are they alive? Because apparently they put like chemicals in them that make that make such a unique smell and it's like when like it's only the smell in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride or something like that. And like the the water in like it's a small world is different, blah 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 blah. But Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? You've never seen it? I've seen on TikTok. So people will drink it? They'll take... Literally, I saw one the other day where someone took a straw and leaned over the boat and drank some of the water. Wild. Are we... Although... Although... No one's swimming... Are you going to defend this? I'm kind of going to defend it. No one's swimming in it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Disney pumps enough chemicals in it to make it not kill... Frank, let me ask you a question. (laughs) Okay. Are you fucking stupid? Yeah. There's r- roller coasters. Okay, Joey. So yeah. like they're in the water. And what it's are like roller metal. coasters made of? Metal. Yeah. What do we need in order to, you know, but allow then, our blood to get carried and, you know, through our veins to our heart? Iron. Maybe you're just getting like nutrient rich fucking water. Okay. Maybe it's like Okay, by that logic, eat an mm-hmm. aluminum bat. <laughs> okay. Do that. Because that's not helpful either, okay. Frank. Eat a, well, bunch of, eat a handful of screws. What if, like, these, like, you know, like, daily drink supplement companies that are just like, oh, we have, like, you know, it's a mixture of, like, 11 different superfoods. What if it's really just, like, the water on It's a Small World and, like, they just powderize it and they, you know, you can put it in your cup? Yeah, what if? It isn't, though. <laughs> um, eating, it's drinking the water at a theme park is psychotic. Yeah, I mean... And also, what were you saying? Like the water, they put something in the water. Yeah, that, so I think it smells like pirates. Like, what are you talking about? So, like, you know how when you go to, uh, I guess I don't know how else to explain it, but like, if you go to an indoor pool, let's say at like a hotel or a resort or something, it smells like chlorine. Yeah, you instantly smell it, and you're just like, oh shit! And because your olfactory bulb has a direct line through your hippocampus, which is the part of your brain that has the strong, it basically controls memory. They say that smell has the the most strongest effect on bringing out very vivid memories. Bro, I honestly, I'll be honest with you, I stopped back there at hippopotamus. <laughs> Whatever you said. I it's true. Know. Smells can elicit. The hippocampus? The hippocampus. Smells can elicit the strongest memories. I can't wait until fucking someone sign another Instagram sign. I believe you. Oh, thank you. I'm just trying. All right. So if right. I smell something, I go, oh my God, grandma. All right. So uh, seriously, seriously yeah, I'm going to walk you through this here at the most basic elementary level with a slight chance that I could be wrong, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your senses. Okay. What are your five senses? Give them to me. Taste. Yes. Touch. Yes. Smell. Yes. Are you kidding me? Hearing. Yes. Sight. There it is. So each of those, Bruce Willis. No, <laughs> <laughs> that was him. The sixth sense yeah. is technically Haley Joel Osment. Haley Joel Osment. He has the sixth sense. Right. Got it. Uh, spoiler for a twenty-five-year-old movie. Yeah. Um, but each of those have a place in your brain that, like, when they go off, is like where they work. The what an explanation, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Already off to a hot start. Your the one that's tied to your scent is it goes through your olfactory bulb. Or like something olfactory, okay? Yeah, and it goes through your hippo, through your, <laughs> through your hippocampus. <laughs> it goes through your hippocampus. What is a hippocampus? It's a part of your brain that controls memory. Yes, okay. there are different parts of the brain that do different things. I know. Amygdala, prefrontal cortex. Amygdala bongata. Yeah, yeah, sure. Frontal lobe. Yes. Bactal lobe. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Stem, you know all that stuff. Stem. Yeah. Cerebellum. Yes. Dude. What do they do? Stuff. We gotcha. Okay. <laughs> stuff. Maybe, Definitely maybe stuff. That, maybe that'll be a Patreon episode. I quiz you on the brain. Um, but a short episode. Yeah. The olfactory sense goes through where your memories are mm. basically stored. So they say that smell elicits right. the strongest. Because, like, let's be honest. You can see something or someone and just be like, oh, shit, where are they from? Yeah. Where are they? You can hear something and go, oh, my God, I know this. Where is this from? You could touch something and say, like, this feels familiar. But your smell, once you smell it, you instantly remember what it is. Huh. Crazy, right? Yeah. Sometimes, like, I'll get a whiff of an old person. And he's like, that's I'm my, like, that smells like that, the inside of an empty thermos. Oh. You ever smell the inside of an empty thermos? Th- you know? I've smelled old people, so I guess by by your yeah. logic, I have. Or like leather couches. Old people stink, by the way. Why do they all smell the same? Dude, they... St- old people just smell the same. I guess same. it's decaying skin all smells the same. I guess, but uh. it's like, why do you guys all smell like a lunchbox? 
Dude, they literally smell like a brand new lunchbox that you just shove paper bags into. You know what they smell like? Like an empty room with like nothing in it. Yes. Not even the rug. Yes, correct. You know, yes. you walk into When like you a... smell like the floor, like the yes. hardwood floor, and you're just like... You, like you're cramp. at an open yeah. house. Yeah, you're like, yeah. You're, you're going to see apartments, and you walk in, you're like... Oh, it why does it empty. smell like... And then you wonder like, oh, wait, did a dead person die here? Yeah. Well, or, dead people don't die. Old people well, die. An old person. You know what I mean? Like, did an old person die here? Yeah. Or do they just smell like a freshly painted wooden floor? What is that? Don't get it. Don't know. But I think what Disney does is they put different chemicals in the water to make them smell a specific... Bro, Disney is a just... It's the most insane social experiment. Are you going to finish this thing? I asked 40 minutes ago what the fuck weird it was, and you keep talking about other shit. Disney is the most insane social experiment. But they make they make the water smell they like make pirates. The, they Not like pirates, but they make it smell like something. So it's when you smell it, you're like, oh, it reminds me of Disney. It reminds me of this ride. It reminds me of that ride. Uh, I got there. I, got I there. like the Disney stuff. Like, you ever see the YouTube videos where it's like they do, like, crazy shit? Like, the green paint. That's like on their garbage cans or whatever. It's like attracts. Yeah, it's a big social. No, it's experiment. the opposite. It's like it's like it, you're, you're. It blends in, so it you blends don't in see so it. You don't see the garbage. Yeah. No, dude. Disney is legitimately a, just a giant social experiment. Yeah, they're really experimenting with the price of beers at that place. Let me I, tell you. I haven't been. And what like, the fuck is this a playoff Yankee game? Is it that the bad? The fuck? Yeah. Well, they don't want. They're not encouraging people to drink at Disney, Joey. So that's how you do I'll it. Tell you what, they're not deterring me. Double it. <laughs> Double it. See what happens. I'll be hammered on that fucking safari. Hey, dude. small world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this guy just got fucking cocking balls out. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to do at a child's theme park. You got to put that guy down, though. You got to tase him at least. Oh, you got to shoot him, yeah, if you, like, yeah. expose yourself like to children. Like a leg shot. Like a good leg no, shot. No, no, no. You can kill him. Can you? Oh, why not? Well, if he runs out of a group of people, then you got to. I mean, you got to. You just got yeah, to gotta trank him at least. You said he was ripped up? This guy was pretty jacked, dude. I, like, I didn't was he see like crackhead I, ripped up. Or I didn't he see. Like actually I like mean, workout? he didn't look all there. Clearly, I mean, I, I I didn't get a chance to see his thump, but okay. Like, I imagine there's a level of confidence if you're whipping it out at Disney, dude. Yeah, that's a little crazy to me. It's a little crazy. Criminal as well. Criminal, major criminal. Yeah, stuff. I I hope he gets everything he deserves, which is probably not a ton. Yeah, because he you know you know you know. You know? <laughs> That's a fast pass, though. Take your clothes off, you'll skip the line. I guarantee it. Oh yeah, you will. You'll skip the line right in the prison. Yeah, probably. That's a, it's definitely a felony, right? One hundred percent. Being naked at a child's theme park. Yeah. At the I love how you keep ride. specifying child's theme park when three minutes ago you were talking about how they don't encourage you to drink beers there. <laughs> no, I'm saying they're trying to deter me with the prices. Who I'm rebelling against. If the you system. and I were to go and drink ten beers and ride as many rides as we could, who would throw up first? I won't throw up. I won't throw up either. Neither of us then. Oh, all right. There's the answer. Twenty Unless beers. Unless it's uh, what? Twenty beers. Whew. Dude, can you imagine getting black out in Disney World? <laughs> I would feel horrible. I would too. I would not that like, this is not the place. This is not fun. Even though I did it. I didn't black out though, but it also wasn't my fault. A bartender outside of the safari recognized you and was just no, like no, no. We, heavy handed it. Me, me and Keith left the, our family because we were waiting on the line. It was like an hour and a half. And we're like, we're going to go get drunk and come back. And they're like, all right. So me and Keith went to a bar like that was right outside. And we were talking to the bartender and he was fr originally from New York, but he's down there in Orlando now. So we're like, oh yeah, we're following out. He's like, oh. he's like, you guys want to double or a single? We're like double. And he's like triple. And he put like three different fucking, oh, shit. and it was like a slushy drink. I was blasted, dude. There was a whole like dance number behind me. I was like, I would have gotten sick. into it, dude. I was, I was hammered, bro. Imagine being hammered and seeing a giraffe right there. No, I, I wouldn't was hype. I wouldn't be. Able and to. a hippopotamus, a hippocampus. There you go. It was a campus. It was of a, hippos. a campus. <laughs> it was a campus of hippos. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we do have some more ads for today. Uh, the first one being, Babel. You want to learn a new language? You should, okay? Because not a lot of Americans who speak a second language. I, and I've been to Europe a few times. That is the biggest, like, deflating thing about being in Europe is that everyone speaks multiple languages. And I just see, I'm here just speaking English and it sucks. So I want to learn another language. And I think that a lot of people want to learn other languages as well. Best way to do that or the most efficient way to do that is with Babbel. Uh, Babbel 
uh, is like an app that you can go on and they sort of gamify uh, the learning process when it comes to learning another language. And uh, it's very beneficial. I mean, there were studies uh, made about this and uh, studies from like Yale, Michigan State University and others, uh, they continue to prove that Babbel is better. Um, one study found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. So. It works. They have 10 million subscriptions. Everyone's using this thing. You want to learn a new language, or if you want a new hobby, this is a great one to have. I always say if I could just pay an amount of money to learn a new language in a second, I would do it. Like Learning another language is so cool, um, but I think that everyone should try it out, uh, and Babbel is the one to use. It's the one that works the best. Um, so a special limited-time deal for our listeners. Right now, you can get 55% off of your Babbel subscription, uh, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash basement. Uh, that is B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash basement. Uh, and you get 55% off of your subscription. So go check it out, folks. Go learn another language. Rules and restrictions may apply. Uh, and next here we have prize picks. Prize picks is a lot of fun. Uh, prize picks is, uh, it's like, it's like fantasy basically. I mean, it's like, it's sports betting. Uh, sp- sorry. It's daily fantasy sports platform in North America. Um, with the basketball season here, uh, you can start betting on basketball. Um, but you can, but basically how this works is like they have a prize picks projection, okay? So it's, it's like player p- uh, specific. So if you have like Travis Kelsey, uh, you know, over six and a half, uh, more than six and a half receptions or less than six uh, and a half receptions. Um, and then you have LeBron James. He's going to have more than five three-pointers made or less than, you know, five three-pointers made. And you kind of build out these uh, – entries like that so you can do like five like five two to six players um, and build out these entries uh, and you can win up to 25 times your money it's a lot of fun very easy to understand like I said um, and you can play alongside some of your favorite players like Meek Mill plays um, if you guys know Andrew Schultz the comedian he also uh, has a, a you know a couple picks a couple plays every single week um, you can find that under the community plays under the promos tab uh, of the app to view the entries some of the biggest names in the prize picks community um, it even offers a reboot policy um, so if your player gets injured um, then your entry is still alive so you're good um, but it's a lot of fun and uh, you can check it out go to pricepicks.com slash basement use the code basement for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars so what that means is like you're going to put in $100, they will match it. So they'll put in, you'll have $200 to play with. If you put in 50, they'll put in 50, you have $100 and so on. So go to prizepicks.com slash basement and use the code basement for a first deposit match up to $100. Uh, yeah, go check it out, folks. And lastly here, we have Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch, they make the best soaps in the game, okay? Uh, I have a, a giant, it's like a brick. Okay, and it lasts forever, but they're they're amazing. Uh, the best part about them, no harmful ingredients. I'm one of those people that all of my shampoos and soaps, I like them to be like, you know, organic or you know, no harmful ingredients or anything like that. Um, and Dr. Squatch makes awesome, awesome soap. Um, they have soaps like Birchwood Breeze, uh, Bay Rum, Fresh Falls, Pine Tar, Cool Fresh Aloe. They smell amazing. I mean, you start using the soap in the shower and your whole shower smells like a forest, okay? It smells like the Pacific Northwest. It's incredible. So uh, right now you can buy three soaps and get three soaps for free, uh, $28 in savings. So it's like getting each bar for four bucks uh, and free shipping, okay? And it's only valid, only valid for new customers, okay? So if you've never had it before, this is for you. Uh, buy three, get three. And it's right around the holidays. This is a perfect stocking stuffer, okay? Just get the bars, throw them in the stockings, and you're good. You're a hero, okay? So right now, Dr. Squatch is offering uh, our listeners a huge savings. Uh, All new customers will get three free bars of soap um, plus free shipping with any purchase of three bars. So just go to drsquatch.com slash basement, spelled D-R-S-Q-U-A-T-C-H dot com slash basement to buy three soaps and get three for free, okay? There you go, folks. All right. Well, we got one more story to talk about here, Joey. Do we? And uh, <clears throat> it's about your favorite thing, poop. Poop? You love poop, dude. I don't love poop. You do love poop. Well, there's a story that came out uh, where a uh, influencer, I believe by the name of Jess Jacobson, uh, revealed that she- Jess Jacobson? Jess Jacobson revealed that she broke up with her boyfriend because he abandoned her on the toilet. Now, we'll get into the nitty gritty of the story. I don't even know what that means. We'll get into the nitty gritty of the story. Have you ever walked in on a woman in the on the in the on the? <laughs> Have I walked in on a woman taking a shy? Yep. I don't think so. 
Well, so I don't know if they're taking shies or pies here. Oh, so you, wait, what, uh, they're they're both sitting. Yeah, but pies I would also assume is poom. Oh no no no! I'm saying like I, I haven't walked in like I'm sure. I, I don't want to say I'm sure because I don't know that I'm sure, but I've I've probably walked in on someone going to the bathroom before. But, oh, yeah, but like it's, but I don't you're know if not shitting or you're not like the person that's like you know. Someone's using the toilet and you walk in and you're just like, I'm just gonna like hang here, brush my teeth. What do you mean? Bro, there are people that like sit with their partners in the bathroom. Oh, no, no, no. That's no. weird, right? I don't love that. Unless it's like a it's shower a private, thing. No, it's a private. Like, but it's like a shower thing. I think I'm okay with that just because, but not if I'm shitting. I don't want you in there. But I, I, I whatever I'm doing in the bathroom, I kind of want to. If I'm showering, it's fine. Oh, if I'm showering and someone comes in, sure, but like. At least I, I'm in a current situation where I have multiple bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. So, like, go to another bathroom to pee yeah. or something. You got three bathrooms. I do have three full bathrooms. Very lucky. Hashtag blessed. This guy, he needs a raise. He's got three full bathrooms. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, um, so, the story was that uh, she went to her boyfriend's house. And uh, he told her, like, hey, listen, there's no toilet paper in this bathroom. So, don't use it. And she had to go and use it. And she went in to use it. And she was taking a flift, and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she was like, "Hey, there's no toilet paper." He was like, "I fucking told you there wasn't, so figure it out." And just like dipped on her. Weird. All of it's weird. Though. Why is that weird? One, I mean, I don't know. I like, why would he say that? Oh, well, clearly he's an asshole. But well, like, I'll oh, figure it out. Like, yo, what's the alternative here? You get one of your towels ruined. Uh, the cat if, runs in and bro, then all of a sudden, if that were to happen to me and someone say figure it out I'd say okay challenge accepted I would wash my ass in the sink I would fucking rub my asshole on everything in that room <laughs> every single thing in that figure. room really well maybe not everything what about the knobs to the medicine cabinet I'd have to get up there oh I meant like below the sink whatever oh. that is no that's have you done that have you no. shoved one of those knobs in your butt the fuck no. So why are you asking me? I thought that maybe. You would. What, what about me gives off, yeah, I'll shove a fucking knob to a cabinet in my asshole. I'll tell you. I will shove my ass all over everything in that place. <laughs> Do you have a bit of a point? There you go. But I was more saying like, as like a, I'll rub it all over everything. Yeah. Have you ever had to wipe your ass with something that wasn't, wasn't what it's supposed to be? Yes. What was it? A receipt. <laughs> what? Yeah, a receipt. Where'd you get it? My wallet. You keep receipts in your wallet? What, Not you doing your taxes? <laughs> It's a tax write-off? Uh, no, when I would, like, buy, like, you know, like, certain things that, like, I might need to return, like, return for whatever reason. You would keep the receipts. I'd keep the receipts in my wallet. And then I would keep them for so long that, like, the ink would wear out. And then it became toilet paper? And then you? it just became toilet paper. <laughs> Disgusting. Whatever. What are you going to do? We know my answer. Leaves. No, no, no. I, I mean, I told this story on a podcast so long ago before I did guests or anything, or, like, co-host or anything before you were cool i got it yeah um but you were there for it oh in the in the woods yeah and I, no 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 it was it was at uh the cat skills nope oh well that yeah i just shit in the woods but i didn't wipe my ass with anything i just ran home and took a shower somehow worse not somehow it is oh uh, no it's not worse actually <laughs> no, it's, way worse. it's way but worse but we were um by like 81st street and i had to shit so bad and then i shit between these tr this tree line and then I was like, what do I do? And then I saw an, uh, an abandoned umbrella, and I used that. Dude, you could have gotten butt AIDS, dude. Yeah, I know, but I That's didn't. That's crazy. I didn't, yeah. And it, the, the umbrella was, like, turned inside out. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. So it was, like, those are the ones. Up. Those are the ones that you abandoned. Yeah, and I like to think that the umbrella, you know, if Toy Story's real, right? The umbrella's like, damn, my guy left me just because I turned inside out one time. And, then and he's got... probably sad, and he's like, no one ever uses me anymore, and then I used him. So Toy Story is not inanimate objects that come to life, just toys. And I could, no one plays with an umbrella unless you're fucking Mary Poppins. Dude, I've played with umbrellas before. As swords. Dude, Batman Returns, I was a big umbrella gun guy, dude. Could shoot. Yeah, I was a big umbrella gun guy. I also would like walk with it like a cane and I would put it, kick it. You know what I'm talking about? I do, like dancing in the rain. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I do, because I do that still. But I... I I kind of I can hear both sides of the argument here. Which one? Oh, okay. 
Because that was what's, an asshole what's, thing to do, to but, leave your fucking girlfriend, I guess. I was going to say course. high and dry, but she was low she, and she squishy. Was, yeah, she... <laughs> she was down and brown. She, <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't high and dry. She was down and brown, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. But also him, like, yo, know, I told you, like... Yeah, but come on, bro. Come on, what? People forget. Bro, how do you not have toilet paper in the whole house? Yeah, that's it. I mean, there definitely was toilet paper in there. He Like, not in there, but like in the house somewhere. I've had to use uh, paper towel before. That, not fun, dude. Really? Because I, I literally, I had no If anything, that would, that would get the job done well, I assume, right? Yeah, but it beats the hell out of your house. Oh, I've had to use, like, you know, like that, like, cardboard paper towels and, like, bathrooms? Cardboard. You know what I'm talking towel. about? It's like the, oh, brown, the brown ones, ones. that like fold or the like the school ones. Yes, yes, yes. I've had to school use, napkins. I've had to use those before, which are it's basically wiping your butt with just construction plastic. paper. Yeah, like, like there's no it, it's there's no like assistance you're getting there. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. I just smelled something that smelled like shit. No, it wasn't me. It's got to be you. It how me. how could it? How to me? me? What did <laughs> I say? <laughs> How mimi? <laughs> I don't know. Your shirt's a little open there. Maybe it traveled up and stung you in the nose. I'm not wearing a shirt under this. You're not raw dog in that. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? No, just a. Oh, oh. Just a a, a uh, wife beater. I'm. I, I. We can't call it that anymore, right? You could beat your wife. You just go to jail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you can technically, right? God. People do. What a tough like the tank top industry. Just, just like guys, call us anything else. I love how that like. That stuck. Under the radar. Yeah. It's like insane. Yeah. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really excited for this announcement, by the way. Like I said, we haven't even announced yet. It is, what day is it? Thursday? Today is Thursday. Thursday. Monday is when the we made a video. <laughs> <laughs> we made a video. Uh, we shot this thing. I put the fucking pictures on uh, Instagram. Yeah, you still never sent me the link so I could watch this stuff. What stuff? The 48th Street file. Oh yeah, uh, but I uh, just gonna gloss over it. Yeah, we <laughs> Fuck. because I was making a point. I posted the pictures and people have been like trying to guess what it is. Yeah, and everyone's like, "Oh, is this slam poetry?" Yeah, is everyone like, is saying slam poetry in mine or, too. Or like a music video. Yeah, why? What, do what you, would what suggest? Do you think? What would suggest that we're doing a music video in any situation? Although, where we shot yesterday. 100% could do a music video. Yeah, it definitely. That was sick, dude. The guy there was so horny. Dude, this guy wanted to fuck Greg so Yo, bad, Yo, this dude. guy. This is not an exaggeration this either. Is, this is a real story. We get there, <laughs> and Greg is talking to the guy. We rented a random studio. And the guy is just, like, super, like, friendly with Greg, but, like, flirtatious. Flirty. Fir- flirtatious friendly. Flirty. And he goes, like, all right, I'll be right back. I have an exam. And he leaves. And we were joking. We were like, oh, Greg, like, this guy was feeling you. And Greg yeah. was like, I don't need cheese. And then he... <laughs> <laughs> that will make me laugh every single time. I don't eat cheese. But no, but and I showed up late. I showed up late and I even noticed it. I was like, this is flirting with Greg. Yeah, man. so hard. And dude. Greg loves it. He said dude. something like he said something like, and don't mess up because I'd have to come back. Like, yeah, he says like, something like that. Like threatening Greg with a good time. So we were just joking around like, yo, that guy wanted to nail you. And then... Uh, Immediately after. <laughs> we were leaving. Like not even an hour later. Greg was like, hey, man, we're leaving. Thanks. Like whatever. And then the guy just goes, all right. He said, oh, yo, it, I want to I pull out the, the screenshot. I was just... I mean, you could, you could just fucking paraphrase it. He said something along the lines of like... Because Greg said like, oh, this is... We're doing it for a show. They're doing these, blah, blah, blah. So we're shooting a promo. Here's what he says. He said, uh, thanks, guys. And then he just wrote, I work in a kinky shop. If you want to donate show there, let me know. I can get you the space for free. There was a little bit of a language barrier. But even then, the flirting was coming across. Yeah, you don't need, like, look, listen, love is the universal language. Exactly. Kinky shop, everyone knows what that is, but I wanted to double down. So I took his phone and I wrote, what's a kinky shop? Oh, that was you? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was <laughs> No, we were out at lunch. I was like, give me. And I wrote, what's a kinky shop? And then he said, like BDSM shop, like kinky. Greg would be tied up with his fucking ankles right by his ears, getting reamed. Yeah, and fucking brie cheese on his shoulder. <laughs> I don't eat this. <laughs> don't make me eat it, no, please. No, no, no. 
<laughs> so yeah, guess. we're we're really really excited. I mean, like I said, by the time you guys are seeing this, it's all should be out and available. Yeah. And if you want to uh, look at the pre-sale stuff for the shows, you have to make sure you use the pre-sale code Basement if you're watching this on Monday, December 11th. If you're not, you're good. Just go check them out. Yeah, man. We really want to sell these shows out. Um, and if we do well at these shows, we'll do more places. So Yeah. Um, but, yeah, thebasementyard.com to go get tickets. Uh, come out. Let's have fun. Let's get drunk. Let's go crazy. Ah! <laughs> in the, we're in the middle of a whole thing. Oh, now we're being professional? Not you professional. But literally you told me how you wiped your ass with an umbrella, Joey. That was in confidence. And also, in confidence with whom? I, I, know, I know, but I'm saying, like, I was. Okay, all right. It, do it was the last resort. Yeah, all right. Go ahead. Keep fucking going. You wiped your ass with fucking. What was the thing you said? Other paper. Another form of paper. You wiped your ass with fucking a nylon th- synthetic blend. <laughs> blend. I did. And it didn't do a good you job. You see there are companies that sell reusable toilet paper? How yeah. do you clean? You wash them in the washing machine. Yeah, dude. Let me ask you a question. Because I'm sure, like, Miles has shit his pants before. Of course. Other oh, kids shit their pants. Kids shit their pants all the time. What do you do? Clean it up. No. But like you take shit pants. Oh, my it... Miles has never shit his pants. Like, no, it's no, like no. A... But like but even like, baby shit. Ma- yeah. So like Maeve has like pooped and it's gone. It's like blown out her diaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what babies do. Blown out. Blowouts. Blow. Everyone knows blowouts. <laughs> okay. You got a kid, you know a blowout, baby. Trust me. <laughs> blowouts is very funny. But so there's shit covered on uh, like pants. Yeah. What do you do? What's the process? In our laundry room, we have a slop sink. Oh, so you wash so it. So I, I put it in there and I like use it to like rinse itself. You know what Oof. I mean? Yeah, it sucks. Oh, it's so bad. And then you clean it. And then I throw it in the wash. Yeah. You don't just throw dump in there. I would, no, no. That's like people that put like plates with food on into their like dishwasher. Drives, no sense. Drives me crazy. No sense. Because then I. <laughs> Sorry. That scared the fucking Sorry, shit out of me. But then you open up the fucking dishwasher and it's like there's a whole cucumber. I'm like. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. Yo, you know what I hate? What? What are you hearing? When you when you use like a spatula to make eggs, and it's like the eggs get on it, and then you you try to wa- like wash it off and it doesn't come out, and then you put it through the the washer, and it's still there, and it's the eggs are still on it, it's still on the spatula oh, after you that. put it in the dishwasher. I hate that. I don't like it. I'm bad. That's why I throw stuff out. Yeah, well, no, that's also a problem. That's why it was good to ask you because I didn't know the protocol. I know so many people have so many baby clothes. And whatever, but it's like I know if this people, one gets a little too dumpy. I might just toss the. You want to hear something crazy? I know people that when they were children used cloth diapers. That's a thing still. I think. Yeah, it's still a thing. What does that mean? Imagine tying a fucking tablecloth around your baby. Hmm. <laughs> like you ever seen like the fucking like Looney Tunes? Like Tarzan? Yeah, sure, dude. You ever seen like Looney Tunes where they put like safety pins on the side? Yes. That. Weird. Very weird. Like, readily available, like, like, Amish? like, disposable diapers is, like, a relatively new thing. Like, of, like, the last, like, 40, 35, 40 years, I think. I'm pretty sure. You think the diaper will ever get, like, a change? Like, a, like, a, like, like, it's been the diaper for so long, but, like. I mean, they just make it more absorbent. So, like, they can just piss and shit in it more, I guess. But, like, wh- I'm kind of, you know what's shocking to me? What? That, like, and maybe, uh, maybe I just don't. You're dumb? Uh, Maybe. Yeah. But like... I'll do you one better. You are. Okay. But diapers around the legs of a baby are like not that tight. They're pretty tight. That's... So they... It's funny that like I brought it up before, but like a lot of companies now will like... Blowout proof. Yeah. They (laughs) will like market theirs as like, you know, with a new blowout barrier. There's Is blowout an actual term or yeah. are you being funny? I'm not being funny, dude. It's, they put blowout on a fucking the, on, box. Dude, on one of the diapers that we got. It says blowout it says barrier. It says blowout barrier. <laughs> it's incredible. Blowout barrier pampers, yeah. Ah, uh, she had a fucking blowout. Yeah, dude. Like it says and it'll say on there like super absorbent with a brand new blowout barrier protection. Wow. Yeah. So your your baby can just be walking around with a fucking ass of shit. <laughs> January 19th January 19th Montclair, New Jersey Wellmont Theater New Haven, Connecticut February 1st Medford, Medford Massachusetts. Massachusetts 
That's it for now. Go check it out. And watch. Facebook.com. If you're watching this on December 1st, use the pre sale code. No, nope, definitely not. December 11th. Far. If you're watching this on December 1st, use the pre sale code. No, again, you did. <laughs> if you're watching this on December 11th, there you go. Not to be confused with September 11th. Joey, December no! 11th. If you're watching this on December 11th, use the pre sale code BASEMENT. Get your tickets. We'll see you guys there. Bye. <laughs>